healing in the atonement. Isaiah chapter 53 verses 4 and 5. Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteemed him stricken, smitten by God and afflicted. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement for our peace was upon him. And by his stripes we are healed. Matthew chapter 8 verses 16 and 17. When evening had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed. And he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were sick. That it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet saying, He himself took our infirmities and bore our diseases. During this healing week, I want to bring our attention to another very important truth concerning God's provision for healing for you and me as his children. We must understand that healing is part of the atonement. It is part of what Jesus Christ did for us on the cross. We know that when Jesus died on the cross, all our sins were put upon him so that we could be forgiven. Because he bore our sins, we no longer bear them. But Isaiah also says in verses 4 and 5 of Isaiah 53, that surely he has borne our sickness, our griefs, and carried our sorrows. The literal translation of those words would be, surely he has borne our sicknesses and carried our pains. And the punishment to bring us shalom or peace or wholeness was upon him. And therefore by his wounds we have been healed. So in both these verses of Isaiah 53, 4 and 5, he makes it very clear that healing is, the, is, is in the atonement. He bore our sicknesses and our diseases so that we don't have to bear them. He bore our punishment so that wholeness and healing can be released to us by his stripes. We are healed. And that is exactly what Matthew, in writing by the inspiration of the Holy Spirit in Matthew 8, 16, 17, tells us that he healed people in order to fulfill what Isaiah had prophesied. And Peter writing in 1 Peter 2, 24, looks at it as a work completed. He says, by his stripes, we were or have been healed. I want you to understand, healing is in the atonement. Jesus Christ took our sicknesses and our diseases, our bodily and mental problems, ailments, so that we could receive wholeness in our bodies and minds. Look to Jesus. Declare that he carried your sicknesses and diseases, therefore you are healed. As we pray, expect healing. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that Jesus bore our sicknesses and our diseases. So right now we declare that because he bore it, we don't have to bear it. In the name of Jesus, we resist every sickness, every disease from our bodies. And right now, Lord, confirm your word in every person listening. Let sickness and disease leave their bodies now because we resist it by the power of the cross of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.